was it worth it to open Shadows Over Galaxy boxes for Star Wars Unlimited back in when it was released? Well, let's check it. In this video, I'm gonna get my old footage from me opening the boxes and edit the today's prices as of October 27 from Card Market to the overlay. And we're gonna see how much did I open from the box and was it worth it buying it, right? Was the risk there? Was, was it a gamble? Did we get enough? We'll see. Also, I leave the unedited commentary from four months ago because no one saw this content anyway. So... You guys will see what I was talking about and is that interesting or not in today's world that my impressions of the cards was correct back then. Now, I have more content like this and if you like it this way where we have old commentary of the opening boxes with the new prices, let me know because I can also edit those, those content pieces into no old commentary and just new commentary and condense the video in like probably like 10 minutes. So let me know which one you prefer at the end with a comment and I'll do it for the next video. All right, have fun. And oh, 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 also remember, this video is sponsored by rebel.pl. Visit the website, check out the board games, card games, accessories, sleeves, and so on. All right, now let's dive in to the Shadows Over Galaxy unboxing. It was This was my first ever box. All right. My first ever Shadows Over the Galaxy box. This was sent by Rebel, by the way. They Polish distributor, rebel.pl. So thank you very much, Rebel, for sending me the box. We're going to get more of them. So we'll see. But there are some cards that I would love to get. Obviously, I would like, like to get any showcases. But yeah, already have one from the pre-release. Pre um, but we're looking for several cards for actual like play sets. So I'm looking for Paul Dameron's, I'm looking for Crate Dragons. Uh, what else am I looking for? I'm looking for maybe, mm, what else? Maybe like one, two Dark Sabers, some Snokes for sure. There's, there's a lot of cards I would actually enjoy getting here. All right, booster pack out there. All right, showcase, whoop! No showcase. It's a rare, so we're gonna go like this. Since you guys don't know the cards as well, because this is a new expansion, we're gonna, sorry, I'm looking for a good spot for the camera. Okay. So Kira, Hyperspace, Space Mines. I'll be honest, Space Mines, I'll be honest with you, the, the card artwork on the new bases are phenomenal. They're looking absolutely splendid on, on the Hyperspace version. So we're gonna do it like this. Heroes and bases over here. Then we have Pirated Battle Tank, the Commons. Commons are gonna just go into one pile. I don't wanna sh like make a pile of them right now. New adventures, the uncommon. So uncommons over here. Echo, Quill, really playable uncommons. Like this would be a killer draft pack. And now we have heroic resolve as the rare, which is probably around like two dollars, something like that. And then we have a foil inspiring mentor, which is probably around like a dollar, maybe. All right, not a bad first pack. So we're gonna keep this like this. Do you op do you collect or open sports cards mainly NBA? No, I'm not a I'm not a fan of of sports in general, and I don't really feel any connection to it. You know, so it's like whatever for me. All right, this and that, nothing important over here. Then we have a reprint, cargo dragon out. Whoop. All right, this would be also a killer pack for draft. Uh, Smuggler Sapphire, a very nice hyperspace, lovely. Okay, so that's a hyperspace common. I'm gonna put it here. Then we have headhunting, mercenary gunship, and a Enfys nest, and a final showdown first legendary. Okay, it's a, it's not great. It's also not bad. It's like a, I think this legendary will be playable in in the constructed format. Uh, mostly, if not only, in a solo a solo yellow boba, but it's a good card. And, oh, nice. Hyperfoil Criminal Muscle. Not a super playable card in Constructed, but wow. Oh my god, the artwork pops. Damn. Really nice card. Okay, so this goes over here.
Yes, those are uh, paper uh, paper um, packs. Like the booster packs are actually made out of paper, not out of plastic. So nothing interesting over here. All right, comments. Oh, another hyperspace. Nice. Wait, legendary goes here. Uh, Carter Turncoat. Actually a very playable common. So this is like a very good, uh, very nice hit. But it's just a common hyperspace. But I'm just happy that I get them, you know? Very nice artwork, by the way. Big fan. Okay, so this goes over here. Very playable uncommon. One of the best cards in the set, actually. Like the punishing one. Uh, the Proxima. Brutal Traditions in hyperspace. Wow, two hyperspaces in one pack. Also a playable ca uh, card in Constructed. Like one-off in, in Control decks. And then we have Inspiring Mentor. And we have a Slaver's Freighter. Okay, so this goes over here. And this goes over here. I'm going to keep normal foil uh, commons separately and uncommons because they're not that big of a deal. But foil rares are coming in a separate pile. All right. We have Afra. All right. Go through the commons pretty quickly. What is this? Hylobon Enforcer. Grid Bounty Draw card. I can't remember if this is... This would, like... I don't think this is going to be playable and constructed. The Krennic would be like the deck for it, but I don't think that will be it. But yeah, we'll see. Um, all right, we have Jabba's Ranker. It's an uncommon. Would be nice to get a hyperspace of it. Top target, bo -Katan. She's an uncommon, I just realized. Oh my god. Yeah, for some reason I thought she's a rare. It's an incredibly powerful card, and she's just an uncommon. That's good. Jungle Fett. Let's go. Not a super, super duper playable card, even though when we saw him, it was like, wow, what the fuck, power creep, you know? But it's actually not, he's actually not that great. And Fugitive Wookie in foil common. Okay. So, rare goes here. I think Django Fat is probably like $2. Like, he's not going to be super expensive. So, not, nothing like spectacularly expensive so far in the, in the booster boxes, sorry, in the booster packs, apart from the Legend. Final Showdown probably will be like $10 or something like that. No showcase. We go through this, and now we get the comments. Let me go through it fast. And let's get it. we get a hyperspace. No hyperspace. Okay. Frozen and carbonite is a removal for yellow, essentially, that taps a creature. Uh, oh, okay. Hyperspace rare. Maz Kanata. Not super duper playable and constructed, I would say. Uh, I think it's too easy to remove uh, for, for to be constructed playable she was even easy to remove in sealed so it's like ah, eh, not certain about her we'll see and then we have nice swoop down that's a good card like it it's like a removal from your ship that attacks ground and we have kyrax heavy fire okay that's an uncommon foil goes here and kanata this is a hyperspace rare i'm gonna put it over here like this Yeah, that's a lot of piles. How about Pokemon cards? Do you collect some? I was collecting Pokemon when I was a child, uh, but not nowadays. Like, um, I when it comes to card games, I was playing a lot of... Lately, I was playing a lot of Flesh and Blood. But since Star Wars Unlimited came out, I actually just stopped playing Flesh and Blood altogether. Like, I don't have enough time to play two cards at the same time, you know? And I had to just choose one. And for now, I chose um, I chose Star Wars Unlimited because I enjoy playing it more. Midnight Repairs, Hyperfoil, Uncommon. <laughs> the artwork doesn't pop as much as Criminal Muscle, but it's okay. Okay, so this goes over here. Not an interesting pack. Although Lone Pike might actually be playable in Constructed, so at least that's something. Whoop! No showcase. Okay, we get a hyperspace rickety quad jumper. Nice artwork. Like they always pop when when the artwork has like a lighter background. Those 
get easy like so exposed when there's no frame and it, it looks so much better uh we have bravado lurking time fighting very playable and common like very very playable and common getting them in the hyperspaces would be really nice uh bounty hunter square probably the best bounty in the set and then we have omega which i am not a fan of i don't think it's a good card but we'll see and bounty guild initiative in initiative <laughs> initiate oh my god initiate in hyperfoil it's a common but it's a very nice hyperfoil it's a little bit dark yeah when you look directly at it like i'm doing right now it's a little bit dark it's it has great colors like this right here but in real life i think i would just prefer no more hyperspace okay so this goes over where was it Lothar ah, Senpai. Hyperspace over here. I, I can't hold it anymore. Woo woo. What decks are you playing first in set two? Um, I think I'm gonna upgrade my Krennic deck list. I think I'm gonna also make an upgrade to the yellow Boba that I have. Definitely Sabine, uh, because that was my first deck ever. But I want to try it out with the new version and Han, Red Han from the new characters. Red Han for sure. Cat Bane. I think the new Red Han is, is a great deck. Like, not maybe super duper powerful, but it's very, very playable, and it's just so enjoyable to play, like a ramp. Ramp, double ramp, essentially, deck, because it ramps automatically as well. Uh, Mystic Reflection, and Outline, okay. Nothing interesting. Uh, this is, is what? Foil Common. Do you sleep your expensive cards? Of course. Oh my god, I thought it's a showcase. Oh! But it's a normal Boba Fett in hyperspace, but the artwork is sick. Like, it looked like a showcase for me. I'm like, oh! I was so close to yelling. Damn. God damn it, man. Wait, I'm gonna put my heart rate on the, <laughs> on the top of the screen. Would be nice to get, get it. I mean, I already had, like, I have probably one of the most expensive showcases in the set, which is the Mandalorian. I don't think he's super playable, but it's the Mandalorian, so he might be just expensive because of that. Oh, nice. Pillage in hyperspace. Dude, it's like, this is, like, worth nothing. This is probably, like, 20 cents or something, but I'm just happy that I get them. Like, the hyperspaces of the nice artworks and playable commons, like, I'm just happy, you know? Uh, Spark of Hope, Fen Rao, Guild Target, and Legal Authority. Okay, nothing interesting. And, okay, nothing interesting. I wish there was the boys TCG or the Invincible. That would be something. Probably will be there. But the question is, will it be successful and long-standing? Probably not, you know? I wish um, there would be like a One Piece Man. Uh, sorry, One Piece Man. One Punch Man. Uh, TCG because I just love the anime. I don't care about the game. I would just like to collect the cards with with the characters from from One P uh, One Punch Man, you know. So we'll see. Maybe at some point. Uh, client, okay. Cash, Cassian, under all uncommons that are oh my god, very playable uncommons. And we get a Hotshot Blaster, which is a very playable rare. That's nice. And we get Cripple Authority Foil. Rup. <laughs> Another fantastic hyperspace. Look at the vibrant colors. This looks splendid. Oh my god, what a beautiful hyperspace. Damn. Like, this looks really beautiful. I don't know if the Lando will be, like, actually playable, but... That is some beautiful artwork. All right. On the comments, we get three town backup, fell the dragon, Denga, and the Maruda. Uh, people seem to like this ship. I'm not certain. It's like a four attack in space at five. I don't think that's great. And I get kills a falcon, but it's like two turns later, so whatever. And then it has like an 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 effect. It can ramp you up 
right? Choose a card in the discard pile, put it into play as a resource if it shares a name with a unit to control. So you need to have a unit in your uh, on your bo on your board and then have a, the second of that unit in your discard pile and then it can ramp up. So I'm not I don't think that will happen often. General Recan. It's a hyper foil of a rare, which are very rare, by the way. Unfortunately, this this card is not particularly playable. I think six five seven. When played on attack, choose a friendly unit that has Sentinel. Give an experience token to it. Otherwise, it gains Sentinel for this phase. Yeah, I don't think it's a great card. Too bad that we wasted a hyper foil rare slot for this. Would it be lovely to get any other playable, like incredibly playable rare for that. All right, this goes over here, and this goes over here. All right, three, two, one, bruh. No hyperspace. Uh, sorry, no showcase. Okay. Bruh. I don't know if I didn't spoil myself right now with a second legendary of the same kind that I already had. I am not certain if that just happened. All right, Millennium Falcon, the new one. That's an uncommon instead of a legendary, but it's completely different. Enforce loyalty. Total. Kalikan, an incredibly powerful uncommon, by the way, with small grogu. And Koska Reeves, not the best ref. Uh, and it's like, eh. And Fenrau in foil. Okay. So far, I'm actually not super excited about this box. <laughs> it's like, okay. Nope. No showcase. And Jabba's. Jabba's Palace in hyperspace. Pretty nice. Okay. Get rid of the uncommons. Sorry, commons. Um, Mandalorian Warrior, which might be actually constructed playable. Very nice artwork as well. Very, very light in colors. Uh, commons here. Uh, very playable uncommon. Dr. Pershing in hyperspace. That's a very playable rare, by the way. So this one is actually pretty good hit. This is actually a pretty good hit. All right. And then we have uh, Vesla. Pervis, sorry, Pervisla. It's a bomb in draft. Like it's an absolute bomb in draft. I am not certain how much playable would it be in constructed, but there's a small chance that might be in the sideboards. And we get price on your head. Are you familiar with all the cards available in this card game? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I know, I know all the cards. Boba. Okay. Common, 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 common. Uncommon Brutal Traditions. Wookie, but an evil Wookie. Jetpack, which people seem to like. It's going to be fantastic in hyperspace. And we have Xanadu Blood, which is a rare. The ship of Cat Bane. It's going to be also popping as a hyperspace. I don't think it's super playable in Constructed because it shares the exact same resource with uh, Fett's Fire Spray, which is just like one of the best cards in the game if you play Boba Fett. So we'll see. And Protector of the Throne. That's uh, whatever. Have you pulled a showcase before? Yes, I did. I pulled a showcase of Mandalorian on the pre-release, and from the first set, I pulled two. What did I pull? I pulled Case Cassian, and I pulled Jin Erso. Trip. Okay, hyperspace of a base. Oh, nice. That's a very nice artwork. Black Sun Starfighter. Look at this. Oh my god, this looks so beautiful. Very lovely. Okay. I have Salacious Crumb. I'm sure that all of you know this fucker. Yeah. Armor, another Cassian. And we get Evidence of the Crime, which I think is one of the best cards in the set, by the way. Like, this is gonna be maybe in the main for a lot of control, like soft controls. Uh, I think it's sick as fuck. And, um,. Definitely in the sideboards. Like it's an it's a it's an upgrade hate for the cards that are less than four, right? 
So essentially it doesn't hit the Dark Saber, which is a thing that is going to be constructed and playable. So that's one downside. But other than that, it can just... Like, even getting the, the shield from your opponent and getting it into one of your units is like... That's already good enough. Like that... Uh, sorry for it. Hello? Focus? Hello? All right, let me reset this. Anyway, and rare foil Omega. It's a very constructive playable card, I would say. If it was too costly, it would be busted. Um, Yeah, probably. Yeah, but even for free, I think it's great. And showcase? No. Okay. Comments, 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 comments. Uncomments. We get this is the way. Which is a good search card, by the way. But probably not for now. Because Mand I don't think Madonna's will be playable right now. Super playable and common, by the way, for constructed. The Concord Dawn Interceptors. Like it's a very good card. Uh unlicensed headhunters and Oh yay! Let's go! Poe Dameron. One first my first. So we need two more of those. But this is one of the legendary cards that I was actually looking for. Like, my main hits would be Paul Dameron, Crate the Dragon, and um, Snoke. So, this is a good hit. This is a good hit because I need three of those for, for Constructed. So, this is a good hit. But now, below below this card is gonna be... <laughs> okay, Carl, good juggernaut. Yeah, but this is a nice hit. I would assume this is gonna be the most expensive card of the entire set. Apart from showcases, of course. You know? Like, Paul Dameron is, is like, overstudded. Completely overstudded. Like, if you play any card games, in most card games, a five, five resources or mana or whatever for 6-6 six, six is already, like, what? And then you read and it has on attack different three effects, like, super flexibility. Like, he is nuts. He is nuts. You know? Whip. All right. Yeah, I saw the collation list, Demoy. But I, I, from what I heard, it's not exactly 100% certain. So uh, that would be great if there would be no like exact legendaries hit every box. Fallom, very playable, constructed, um, uncommon. This one is actually nuts as well. I, I think this one is going to be incredibly playable and constructed. At least maybe, maybe not right now, but there's going to be a point in the metagame where this card is going to be nuts. Sundary Peacekeeper in hyperspace, that's pretty nice. Uh, oh. Alright. That's our legendary. Rule with respect. Yeah, I don't think this is great. <laughs> it's unlucky, I guess. Alright. Well, we had three legendaries so far. Hopefully we can get one more. Would be nice. Daring Raid Foil. Poe Dameron is probably worth like half of the box. Three, two, one. Nope. Mm, oink, oink. In hyperspace. Which is, by the way, I think playable card in Constructed. Uh, okay. Fennec Shand. Is that uncommon? Another scanning officer. Senara San. Dark Raid. Okay, that's a very good hit. I think this card is going to be like probably like three, four dollars. Um... Hyperspace would be lovely. I think it, it pops. I've never seen a hyperspace of this card, but I think it pops because it's like such a nice tone of the background. And then we have foil common. Right? We have few booster packs left in this box. Current pop price is around 35 to 40 euros. Yeah, he might go up because almost every single player wants to have three. Kind of like Vader. Boop. But this one is more playable, I would say than Vader, because Vader fits, like, some of the decks, while Poe is just, like, what? If you play red, you play Poe. Doesn't matter if you're aggro or not. Mm, uh, wait, was unco yeah, uncommon. Okay, bravado. Ah! Enticing reward, and Maskanata. Fantastic. That was fantastic. Jesus Christ. It's a reprint in hyperspace. Ah, oh, foil. Facts. 
<laughs> I want I want an extra pro release yesterday on a whim and pulled a foil pole. That's great, man. I saw a friend of mine pull a hyper foil pole next to me on a pre pre release. Bloop. No showcase. Okay. We get Valiant Assault Ship, Suckers, Sandara Pixie Keeper, and Tarful, which is, by the way, a bomb in Limited. And, oh, I know that's a normal foil. I thought it's hyper foil. Eh. Okay. I'll be honest with you, so far this box was pretty disappointing. If, if this Paul Dameron would be anything else, yeah, this box would... Suck. Hunter. A foil. Sorry, Mask Hanata's Castle in hyperspace. Very nice as well. Okay. Three turn backup. Then go. And Migs, which is one of my favorite comedians, essentially. If you know, you know. And foil IG eight sorry IG eleven, so that's a rare and that's an uncommon. We get three booster packs left. All right, I don't want a showcase, you know, it would be nice, but I would just like to have one more legendary, a good one. Okay, dude, I was like showcase. Ah, uh, just a hyperspace ray. Morning, Weast. Mm, wait, there's iron comments. Okay. Midnight repairs. Arm to the teeth. Spare the target. And... <sighs> Mandalorian armor. All right, really not good hits. Like, I'll be honest with you. This box... <sighs> Paul Dameron single-handedly kind of rescues this box from being an absolute disaster. Okay, another hyperspace. Hmm, a hyperspace reprint. Mm. Lady Proxima, Elite, Remnant Reserves, and Tech. That's a good playable card. So that's a decent and rare. And then we have whatever. All right, let's boost a pack of this box. We're going to open another box after this one. Mm, hyperspace Remnant Science Facility. Didn't see this one before. Very nice. Really like the artwork. All of the bases are fantastic, by the way. Sorry for being enough. a little bit off camera. Comments. All right, we got our comments. Commission, Clan Saxon Gauntlet, armed to the teeth in hyperspace, and Mao. Okay, that's a good hit. It's probably like around I don't know five bucks, probably something like that. Uh, armed to the teeth goes here. Mao goes here, and a foil long pike goes here. So this is the box. We get three legendaries: Hodameron. Rule with respects and final showdown. So not the best hits. And from the rares, we get very good playable cards like essentially those. Right. Here. And like one hyperspace of a rare that is very playable. So our playables, rares are like Pershing, Herag Resolve, Hotshot Blaster, Maruda, Evidence of Crime, Triple Dark Raid, Tech, and Mole. So not the best box, but also not tragic. And it's not tragic because we got we get Paul Dameron. So we opened the box and it got around 77 euros worth of cards. Now I didn't count all the minor cards, but you can add probably around three more euros to its worth. So it's around 80 euros. Now 
at the release, you could buy those boxes for around 85 euros. So 80 euros of value in 85 euros box, not bad. I would say that's actually okay because you get the enjoyment of opening and completing your product and you could get some really incredibly expensive cards, but instead you get an amalgamation of playable cards and collectible cards for 80 euros, which is not bad. Today's prices of Shadows of a Galaxy box, you can actually get around 70 to 80 euros. So it's not a bad deal actually. And from the first box that we edited here, I would say opening this box was actually okay and was worth the fun and worth the experience and worth having for the collection as well if you like collecting Star Wars Unlimited. Let me know how to do the next video. Should I keep the original commentary? Should I edit with a new commentary and just leave only the video from it? Then uh, we'll do it this way for the next one. Bye-bye and thank you Rebel again for sponsoring the video.